folks, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about how to generate a slow clock. Uh, basically, we will be uh, creating an experiment where we will toggle the LED on a basis 3 board. Now, basis 3 board has a single oscillator that has a frequency of 100 megahertz. Obviously, that is uh, too high. Uh, we would want to, you know, create uh, of this blinking LED uh, blinking every one second uh, so how do we generate a slow clock uh, and one of the way uh, ways of uh, creating a slow clock is through to the use of the counter so if you take a look at it we will start counting uh, from here uh, zero and it will keep on incrementing by one it slowly goes up once it reaches a certain value that is when the clock toggles goes from 0 to 1 and then once it reaches uh, a certain value here it resets itself goes back to the 0 and start counting back again until it reaches a certain value and then goes back reset itself and this is when the uh, clock toggles back again going from high to low okay uh, so few things that you need to know here those are basis uh, three board has a clock frequency of 100 uh, megahertz. Okay, we would want to change this 100 megahertz frequency to one hertz which would mean we are basically looking at 100 million cycles um, so this 100, 100 million cycles would actually make one complete square wave which would mean one the time value from here to here is going to be 100 cycles 100 million cycles divided by 2 so you're looking at 50 million cycles okay which means for the 50 million cycles of the original clock of a basis 3 board which is 100 megahertz it will be low and then for the next 50 million cycles of the original frequency the clock frequency of a basis 3 board which is 100 megahertz it's gonna be high okay so in a total of hundreds uh, million cycles for a one complete square wave and for a half wave it's 50 million cycles so we're gonna start off our recording here this was just the basics of how are we going to use the counters in order to create a slow clock let's go to the uh, Vivado now uh, I got my module name over here my input is basically the clock and my output is going to be the LED uh, now, first of all, because we are going to use counters, so I need to uh, create a counter and that is going to be a register type because it's going to be storing a value. Uh, so that would be count. Now, uh, because we are actually counting uh, to uh, 50 million, so which would mean it will start counting from here to zero. And with an increment of one it will go to a value of 50 million and then it will reset itself goes to zero and the clock cycle the input clock cycle will go from zero to high we'll start counting from zero back again and goes to a value of 50 million this is when it reset itself again goes back to zero and then the, the clock goes from one to zero okay so now let's look at the calculator how many bits we would need in a register that could accommodate 50 million so two uh how can i generate a power here so let's look at the powers of two okay so over here uh to the powers 21 you're looking at 2 million uh, we need 50 million to the power 22 is 4 million to the power 23 is 8 million 24 is 16 million 25 is 33 million and 26 is 67 million 
and we need 50 million cycles so I think this would work 26 which would mean I can create an array here we need 26 bits so 25 0 okay uh, we can assign an initial value to a counter which is going to be 0 and then we're going to register clock this is going to be the clock out which is this right here this is your clock out now now we are going to say always add age clock in this is the original clock we follow it by saying begin uh, which is basically count uh, every time positive clock edge arrives the counter uh, gets the value assigned which is equals to pound plus one uh, now if the count reaches the value of 50 million so when the count reaches 50 we can use underscore just to make sure we got uh, right um, right number of zeros so 50 and followed by six zeros um, begin then count is set to zero so that means whenever it reaches 50 million right here uh, let me write it down over here also so this is 50 right here uh, and then this value over here is zero okay counter reaches a value of 50 million it goes back to zero uh, and if counter and the clock word of clock Uh, we are going to end because we got two begins so make sure we have two ends right here and then the last part of the code where we are going to assign the value to the LED which is our output sign LED equals to uh, clock uh, this sums up our code uh, it's ready to be saved and synthesize so run or select your source file click on run synthesis next few seconds to finish the uh, synthesis and implementation now that the synthesis is complete let's now run the implementation so click ok uh, again it's going to take a few seconds so be patient beautiful implementation is complete as well one thing that I forgot to mention here obviously you're going to have to constrain because we're going to be looking at our output on the basis 3 board and because I got only one input, which is the clock and the output LED, so I only need to mention two things. So this is my LED right here, which is basically the rightmost LED on the basis three board, and I have a clock right here. Okay, now it's about time to generate the bit file. So, so click on generate bit stream. Bit stream uh, has been successfully uh, generated. Uh, let's check on Open Hardware Manager click OK uh, open target click open new target uh, yes I'm connected to the local server click next all right I am connected now click finish here uh, and then program your device uh, this is the chip that we have uh, and then this dialog box will appear on the screen click on program and it should right away program your uh, your code onto the chip and now you should be able to see your blinking LED on your basis 3 board Here yeah, you can see the rightmost LED on the basis 3 board is blinking every second So we have been able to cut down the clock frequency of basis 3 board from 1 megahertz to 1 hertz Now similarly if you want to move it to 2 hertz or 3 hertz You have to make sure, uh, sure that you do your calculation right and you know how to use your uh, uh, number of bits for the counter that you are going to generate in order to slow down the clock um, and 
obviously we declared them as registers. Uh, with this I'm going to uh, you know finish this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. 